Oh, is it on? Okay. Hello, people. I'm gonna do um my A horror movies for the letter A in the beginning of them, and I'm just gonna review them. I I can't wait. It, wait, it's gonna be super fun. Number well, my first is Alien. I wow, it's all okay. Words are backwards, but it says Alien: The Collection. I mean, quadrilogy. The back is just alien. I love that. Um, I'm going to take this out. And then over here, you can see, um, I don't know what picture that's from. I'm guessing it's probably from Alien 1. Yeah, it looks like Alien 1. Look at the cast. This is probably Aliens, part 2. And each, there's eight desks, even though it's only four ones, but, um... Be only because what happens is there's special features for each one and then one big one for the entire collection itself. Alien. Um, wow. This thing is long. Well, that, my dad was right. This thing's big. Wow. Well, um. Is that the Alien Quadrilogy? Well, I'm not gonna, like, show you the movie. Because I've not seen any of them. Alien. Each one has... So there's Alien, Disc 1, Alien, Disc 2. Aliens, Disc 1, Aliens, Disc 2. Alien 3, Disc 1, Alien, Disc... You get the point. There's a big book right here I've actually not seen yet. Let us see what's inside. Oh, it just shows you... It just tells you the... Um... The characters, the plot... And then, like, um, like, um, chapter one, chapter two, and that stuff. Alien is superior to all of them. But my, my mom says that Alien, Aliens, part two, is better than all of them. And, in a way, I feel like it may be. It is a fair sequel. Back in where it belongs, and I'm gonna put it back where it is. So, one, two, three. I, don't, I actually don't know how to put it in the right way, so I'm just guessing. Oh, I got it right first try. Um, sorry, guys, this might take a little while, but try not to make it take too long. I don't want my video to be too long. Okay, well, there's that. And then we have Alien Covenant. Pre Prometheus is in peas, so it'll be in a later part. This is part one. Alien Covenant. I'm trying to get it up A terrifying and exaggerated thrill ride. And now, let me just tell you some taglines from the aliens. Alien 1. It's based on video you scream. Aliens 2. Aliens. This time it's war. Because it will literally. It's a great movie. Oh boy, sorry. The back looks pretty cool. Get a good look. I'm just sure trying to hold it from the bottom. Try to get a good look. Okay. Underneath it's the exact same things except the back is different. It only has that. What a fun saying, so. Okay. It's, I've not seen any of the aliens. I know the movies, it's super famous. If you, if you're a horror fan, and you've not heard of Alien, Alien, um, the Alien franchise, actually. There's, like, so many. So there's Alien, the first four. Prometheus, Covenant, Alien Covenant. And then later... AVP, which is Alien vs. Predator. So you might as well think that what's better than this? Well, never been done. What has ever been done? No, this has been done many times. This was the Jaws of King Kong, um, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So this is not the first versus. But, 
thing is, more blood, more guts, more gore. Slam bang horror action. Alien vs Predator Requiem. There's never been a um a horror um um a versus horror sequel. So um yeah. No matter what you did, it's pretty cool. One day I've seen I've seen the ending of the original Alien. I saw my mom and dad watching it. Um, I've seen a lot of films. The ones I've seen, I will tell you. I have seen this one, American Psycho. This is the uncut version, so there's no cut scenes. Killer Collection, Collector's Edition. Cool. There is Patrick Bateman, the American Psycho. <laughs> the movie. Oh, my favorite part is the guy with the chainsaw. That's a good part. Oh god, is that wrists or what? I don't know. A movie you shouldn't miss. Memorizing Dazzling. Whoa, let's get American Psycho down there. And one I've not seen. Sadly, I, I want to see it so I'm going to see it. Um, so bad. The Manic Description and Script, Leonardo Menti, An American Werewolf in London, Collector's Edition, Widescreen. Now, if you look at that, doesn't that look like a cool werewolf? The back, it's pretty cool. I've heard, I just want to show you that. Those are the two main characters. Um, the alien, um, I forgot to mention the plots, like American Psycho, guys, crazy, the alien franchise is this alien usually on a ship, destroying it, this, these pe the two main characters go out into London, and, like, the one dies with a werewolf bite, and, and I mean, by scratched to death by a werewolf, and he dies, but he, his other friend who got bitten by a werewolf, by the werewolf, is seeing the strange thoughts of him, Tell it, and the, the dead guy's telling him, every full moon, you'll become a werewolf. And, maybe that happens, maybe it doesn't. Maybe they're just playing with their mind. Maybe he's not even seeing the voices. Maybe he's not going to turn into a werewolf, but I don't know. The remake, I've seen almost all these. Never sleep again. I guess it's a remake. It is a nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. Never sleep again. And a nightmare on Elm Street. I loved this. The remake, I will admit, is not as good as the original, but still holds up. I will admit, it holds up to today. Back is amazing. The killer Freddy Krueger kills you in your sleep. That's all you need to know. You don't need to about, know about how it copies. Uh, it kind of has so some so many scenes from the original in this, but actually they changed some stuff. And you know what? I like that. The original Nightmare on Elm Street, which was '84. This was like the other one was like 2006. The original Alien was um. 79 and the um American Psycho either 2001 or 2000 pretty sure it's 2001 they made a sequel uh, not even I've I, I've seen some I, I'm not even interested in it but and then they made American Ultra I don't know if that's a sequel to American Psycho but if it is wow American Psycho 2, an all-American girl, that's the second one. Woo! <laughs> okay, let me show you the cover. The original. Nightmare on Elm Street. Boom. This is a glove. 
and back here, I'm um, going to look very closely, it's hard to see, but this is sleeping, there's him. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like a nightmare, um, a film by Wes Craven, a nightmare on Elm Street, my, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Yeah. Back here is the back. The discs for these films don't really have anything on them. This, there's a disc 2 for special features and disc 1. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them are the same. Yeah, they're about the same. They're just Freddy's face. And also, if you want to know what Freddy's face looks like, if you do, watch the movie. It's really good. I swear, you'll think, you'll watch it, you'll thank me later. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Freddy's Revenge. The first name in terror returns. No. No, Jaws returned before that. Psycho turned before that. I'm pretty sure it even Texas yeah, Chainsaw Returned before that. But, hey, it's a pretty scary movie. But look at this. He's at a pool party and he's burning everyone to death. Yikes. I don't want to be them. They're burning! That's actually a good horror movie from the 80s. Nightmare Free, I'm not going to talk too long, I don't have much time, but Nightmare on Elm Street Bird Free, The Dream Warriors. Did you think you're going to alive? Yeah, you are dreaming. Yeah. Heather Langenkamp returns as Nancy Thompson, who is the main character in the original and not in the sequel, but thank goodness she's in this. And it backs pretty cool, at least. A girl's getting eaten by a worm, there's Freddy there, and then there's a girl in Freddy's above her. That's really cool. Well, anyway, wow, I don't know if this is my record timing of a movie review. This is my first movie review, then we're going to get to bees. There's a lot of movies of bees you're going to love. Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Pure Evil Never Really Dies. Good. If the most popular cinematic remake since Dark Vader, there it is. There's the back. Gonna go kidding. I never remember. I've not seen. I've seen part one, two, and three, but not four. So if you've seen four, do not spoil any single thing for me. I know the directors of all those films are most well the original Nightmare and some others. Like really, Scott, he's a pretty good director. Miss Craven. Nightmare 5, The Dream Trials. Evil has spawned. Help me get see that guy face. He's creepy. And then, do you want to see this cool? That's him as a baby as well. You might not be able to see him as a baby, but... Is it as a baby? He's getting tortured. And then there's Waiter Freddy. We can never forget Waiter Freddy. Whoa! Whoa, that's heavy. And then this one is where they start um, kind of numbering them. They call them Freddy 1, Freddy 2, Freddy 3, Freddy 4, Freddy 5, Freddy 6. And she doesn't say that. It says, because this is the actual title. Freddy's dead, the final nightmare. Evil has finally met its match. The back is my favorite. Roseanne players are even in this movie. See those guys? Those are Roseanne and... The husband, I'm sure. Freddy's dad is on this. We never knew Freddy's dad until now. And I don't think, I think it just makes Freddy even more, it, it makes Freddy feel like he was not born evil. But we wanted, we want to know, we want to believe that he was born as a psychotic child murderer. Wes Craven's new nightmare. This time, staying awake won't save you. He comes into the real world. That's all I have to say. Hey, they did that in part two, but like it was not as cool as this. Like in this one, not almost, and no one can see him. And look at the new Freddy; he looks creepy. Wow, Wellsers. Henry Langenkamp plays Henry Langenkamp. Freddy Krueger plays Freddy Krueger. By the way, Robert Robert England plays Freddy, and he plays himself, and sometimes even Freddy. Amazing film. Oh, crack. Yeah, I'm gonna need that one second. One second, I need a little time. I, need, I forgot something. Put the case back on Nightmare. Yikes. Okay, 
let's keep on going, shall we? Annabelle. Before the conjuring, there was Annabelle. That was true. Actually, I don't know. I don't. I don't think they're this is true. Cause then, how would they know the conjuring was coming out? Yeah, I don't think that's true. There's, it, Annabelle's a killer doll. Well, not the kind that Chucky is. No. She's just kind of just like a possessed demon. I don't know for sure yet. I need to see it. But I'm also not going to see... I'm not into doing killer doll films. Because holy, I hate doll killer doll films. Except for Chucky. He's funny. The next chapter in the Conjuring Universe. Animal Creation. Animal 2. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing here. Same thing here. <sighs> ah, sorry. Ooh. Last but not least. Oh, you're not the only one seeing these but upside down. It's at the other way, because this is an autopsy, the autopsy of Jane Doe. The original Howard and Reuben alien and nearly Cronenberg legend, but not alone. Stephen King, everybody has a secret. I do not want to know this girl's secret. Her eyes. They're creepy. You sure, Josh? Those are stuff nightmares. See you next time in part two. Bye.